Hello, my awesome third grade artists. Today, we're gonna to be starting a new project. We are going to be creating these colorful paper weaving hearts. And we're gonna use several different materials. Then we're gonna go in and write about things that we love. Since we're doing a heart, it'll just give it a little more variety. And we're gonna talk about an artist named Christina Massey. Christina Massey is a contemporary artist. That means that she is still alive and working. This is one of her pieces of art. Let me zoom in on it a little bit if I can. Okay, so you see this is also woven paper. So Christina Massey is an artist who lives in Brooklyn, New York, and she has won lots of awards for her artwork, and she created a blog online for female artists where they can go and show their artwork. So she's sort of well known. And um, like I said, this is one of her pieces and she has taken all different kinds of paper that she has painted and woven it to make this very interesting piece of art. It's abstract. That means we don't really, can't really tell what it is. It's just shapes and colors, lines but I think it's very beautiful. I would love having something like this on my wall. So I'm gonna zoom back out and show you mine one more time. We're gonna start with weaving a rectangular piece of paper, and then later I'll show you how you make it look like a heart. So the very first thing you're gonna do, teachers, is you've gotta make some painted paper. So everybody is gonna get two sheets of 11 by 14 watercolor paper. Start with one. And we're gonna be making the paper for the loom with the first one. So the students will get to decide if they want their loom to be warm or cool colors. And so we know our cool colors are our, our greens and our blues and our violets. And then our warm colors are our yellows and oranges and reds. So what I've done on this one is I have used spray bottle. This is a really easy way to get some paint on your paper and the kids love it. So I just used some lime green and some teal in some of these spray bottles. I added a little of the liquid watercolors and actually that's not teal, that's turquoise. I'm sorry, turquoise. I like the, I think the turquoise is really pretty, but teal would be good or even blue. Um, and I add some liquid watercolor and then I add some water. So you still want more liquid watercolor than you do water so you don't dilute it too much, but the colors are very concentrated. So you do need to add some water and dilute it. Then you just let the students spray it. You need to set, set up a center in your classroom area, let the students spray, and at first it'll, it'll just kind of look like a jumbled up bunch of colors, but as it dries, you get these beautiful places. See where the watercolor kind of makes these beautiful circular places? Those are called blooms. I think they're just gorgeous. And you really don't know how it's gonna turn out until it dries. That's what's so neat about it. So you could do your background, your loom with that. Make sure that the students put their name label on this though, so that they know that that's gonna be their loom. And try to put the name label near the edge of one of the sides, because we're gonna be cutting more in the middle. Okay, so let them make their loom one day, do all their painted paper for that. And then another day you're gonna come back and you're gonna make painted paper for the wefts. The wefts are the strips that we will be weaving. I have already cut mine up, but this originally was a, another piece of the 11 by 14 paper. And this time, instead of spraying, I painted warm colors with my brush and then while the paint was still wet, I added salt and I got these beautiful smaller blooms that way. Then teachers, you will cut these into one inch strips using your paper cutter. You can do several at a time. Now for this part, it will be best if you just let the students all make some of this and you make some strips. They don't have to get what they made originally. We're just making a community pile of warm and cool strips. Let about half of your students do warm, about half of them cool. Teachers, you cut them up and make one inch strips and put them in piles of warm and cool. And the children will use that later to pull, to make their um, weavings, okay? All right, so the first thing we'll do is you will give the students, once you're ready to start weaving, you will give them back their looms. That was the original piece of paper, paint, paper that you painted with the, using the spray bottles. 
give everybody their loom. They should have their name label on the back. And you're going to do a hamburger fold. So I'm going to fold it down, turning it over so you see the white side. And I'm folding it down horizontally like a hamburger. So it's long ways, horizontally. Okay. Now you're going to turn it, let me get my scissors. You're gonna turn it so the folded side is closest to you. The folded side is closest to you. This is very important, teachers. Make sure they're doing this. The open side is farthest from you. And you are going to cut some lines that go close to the top, but not all the way. So I'm gonna start, you can put about two fingers between each line and I'm gonna cut straight up but when I get close to the top, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave about two fingers at the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put about two fingers, make another one. Again, I'm stopping in about the same place. And you're gonna go all the way down your loom doing this. Two or three, if you have small fingers, you can make three. Try to get them as straight as you can. They don't have to be perfect. That's the thing. They don't have to all be exactly the same size. You don't have to use a ruler and measure them out. Mine aren't perfectly straight. I think I'm cutting a little bit at an angle here. Okay, it's no big deal. i to also hold it so you can see it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that at the bottom. So then when you open it up, you're going to have all these little strips. So that was where you folded it and you've got all these strips now. And this is now your loom, okay? So now if you made a cool colored loom, you'll want to go get a stack of warm color wefts, okay? And vice versa, if you made a warm color loom, you'll wanna get cool color wefts. You'll need um, a little stack of these. You're gonna just pull from the community pile that you made, and we're gonna start weaving. Okay, so we can start at the bottom, or you can start at the top, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start at the bottom, and we're gonna start by going over. Weaving is over and under. So I'm gonna go over this top strip, and then under this next one, over, under, over, under, over, I kind of pull them up sometimes, under, you're just doing the opposite with each one, okay, then you push it down as far as it'll go to where you cut, and then, making sure I did that right, then I'm going to glue this down, put some glue here, I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds, and then I'm gonna put some glue on this one. Okay, now I'm gonna start again. Now this time, if you started going over, you're gonna start going under. So I'm gonna go under. You just do the opposite every time you start a new weft. Over, under, and that's kind of popping up, but I'm gonna go, you can go back and push it down later. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then we come out over. Okay, and I'll push them all the way down, and then I'm gonna glue. Actually, if you don't wanna glue right at this stage, it, they'll stay pretty much in place, so you could glue later. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Now this time, since I started under there, I'm gonna start over, under, over. Oh, I've got two strips. Now let's take that out. I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over. And the thing is, if you mess up, just pull the strip out and, and do it again. It's okay. This is really not very hard. Okay, and then I have to go under for this last one. I'm gonna push it all the way down. 
So see how now you're starting to get a pattern and you see your squares for your weaving? So then you're going to go and do the whole thing all the way up and you'll have a nice woven um, piece of rectangular paper here. All right, now when you're finished with that, we're gonna take our black paper and we're gonna make our big heart that will lay on top of it. So you're gonna take a piece of black paper and this is a really big sheet of black paper. It's 12, it's actually, I should have cut it smaller, 11 by 18, but that's okay. I'll, I don't wanna have to leave and do that. So we're just gonna pretend that this is 11 by 18. Let me zoom out a little bit. You are going to fold it in half, hot dog, vertical, like this. So it was open long ways and we're folding in half this way. Okay, now you are going to cut half of a heart. We're gonna make a symmetrical heart where both sides are the same and this is an easy way to do it. I'm gonna turn my paper over where the folded side, actually, I know I'm not, I'm gonna leave it this way. So we're going to just leave it this way and you can take a white colored pencil and you're gonna make a really big half of a heart shape. I'm just gonna cut mine because I can do it without drawing. But if you need help, use your finger and draw half of a heart shape. Make sure you're cutting on the folded side. This was the folded side. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm leaving a little space actually. Don't go all the way. See how I left a little space. Up, but you want to make it really big and I cut that and when I open it up it's a heart but we're not using this heart we're going to use the paper that was left over and see how that made that so then you are going to once that would be all finished you would just lay it on top of your um, woven heart and then you're going to use your glue and glue it all down okay the very last step is you are gonna take a white gel pen and you are going to write around your heart things that you love. So I'm just gonna kind of start doing that. Try to write it in your very, very best handwriting. If you write best print, then you write really good print. If you can do pretty cursive, then you do that. But I'm gonna start here. Now I'm gonna put dots in between everything I love. So I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna write I. I'm taking my time. Love my family. Now you don't have to write what I write. You write what you love. You might love different things than I do. Then I'm gonna put a dot and then I'm gonna put my dogs because I have three dogs that I love very much. And then I'm gonna put another dot in between, between each time that I write something I love. You might have to turn this as you go so you can write on it better. I love my cats. I have two kitty cats that I love. You can write about food you love, colors you love, friends you love, family you love. You can write whatever it is that you love and you're gonna go all the way around till you get back here. So you'll just write, turning as you go. It'll be like you're writing upside down at times, but you just turn as you go. I haven't glued mine down yet. And then you will have this beautiful woven heart with all of the things you love around it. I cannot wait to see what these look like. I hope that you will really take your time and do a good job because I would love to include these in the art show. So um, take your time, do a good job, and I will see you next time. Bye.